What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Jack Specific Mario Brothers movie Bowser. So this thing is absolutely massive. It's awesome. I did look at the Mario and Luigi from this same line that was a member exclusive. This one I think I'm going to have to make a video for everyone because it's just so cool. But let's take a quick look around at this guy. It's got some really nice painted details. The mouth is fully painted inside there. You can see all that red paint. The tongue is painted a little bit differently. The eyes are painted. The eyebrows are painted orange. You got the orange hair up here, the black and silver paint on these pieces on the arm and on the neck. Choker. You got green paint, brown paint, age paint there, a green kind of gradient paint. I mean, it's got a lot of paint. I was very surprised how well painted this is, even from the back. Every angle, they really went all out with this guy. He does have some articulation here. Uh, unfortunately, the head does not articulate. Now, I am going to be taking this apart to see why. I believe it's the electronics. We're going to show you the electronics a little bit later, but let's first go over uh, the mouth or head doesn't move. Shoulders move around on this joint here. They can go up and down that much, but because you can rotate, you can get it kind of around. Elbows go down to there, out to there. You can also rotate uh, here on the arm. The hand can rotate around. Uh, it's not a ball joint, but you don't get too much out of it. It's basically just a rotation there. But he can get his arms straight out. So if you want them to, you can have it like that. It's far more articulation than I actually thought he had. Coming down the legs, you have a... looks like a disc hinge that goes in and out that way. You can also rotate all the way around. The knee can bend all the way forward to there and down to there, and then you have rotation at the foot. No ankle tilt really, it's it's on a ball again, but it's very limited, so there's the ball. But because the ball is kind of short, you don't get too much out of that. But you can get him kind of wide out or kind of standing up. He just gets a little bit awkward. You have to use the tail to kind of balance him. Speaking of the tail, come to the back here, you have rotation here, and you have rotation here, so you can get the tail kind of out to the side either side, whichever way you want. Now this leg is a little bit different articulation because the stomach is actually kind of angled this way. You can see it's kind of fatter over here and thinner over here. I don't know if that's how he looked in the in the movie or what, but he's not symmetrical. He's actually asymmetrical. But you can use the tail to sort of balance him. And there you have him kind of stomping. He is kind of balanced on his tail here, but you can do that. I think that's kind of a cool feature there. Alright, now let's get to the gimmicks of this guy because that's really the main show here. This guy has light up and quote unquote fire breathing effects. It's more like smoke breathing effects, but if you take out this backpack here, you'll see there's a battery compartment and a switch. So you're going to want to get a screwdriver and unscrew that screw. And you're going to need three AAA batteries to put in there. And then we'll get this closed back up. And the screw is anchored in there, so you can't lose the screw, right? It's kind of, it's got a little anchor to prevent you from losing it, which I always appreciate that. Not to go hunting for it. And then we're gonna come to here. You're gonna pull his little piece of hair here. It's actually very cool. I love how that works. And you can see there's a little white receptacle there. He comes with this little bottle. It's actually very hard to see in the package. The package is white and it's in a piece of clear plastic. So it's very easy to toss this out with the plastic. So just look for this in the plastic. But you're gonna fill this with water. I've already done that here. You're gonna get this into here and basically you can squirt the water in. See how much he takes. Hard to tell when he's full, but... Alright, that looks like that's plenty. And you could pretend this is something else, I don't know, potion, whatever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and close that up. We're going to turn this on. Make sure you push that back in all the way. And then this one, it just has a hole right there for where that button was. So make sure that makes its way through. And again, you have to have it in the on position. And now this is the actual switch to turn them on. So press that switch and you can see he is breathing fire. That is so 
cool. I just think that's such a cool thing. It turned off, but uh, if you press it again, there you go. It's it's like a vaporizer. So you've got a red light, and you can see that smoke there. That's such a cool thing. <laughs> I've just never seen anything like that, so I really think that's cool. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Earthrise Optimus Prime, just so you can see how massive this guy is. And then also here are the Jack specific Super Mario Brothers movie, Mario and Luigi. Looks awesome, all three of these. This was kind of the scene I was going for. So. Final recommendations on the Jack specific Bowser. And I'm gonna turn on the lights and little effect here. I love that little smoke effect. That's such a cool thing. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I'm gonna recommend it. It's a really cool figure. It's probably the best Bowser we've gotten in terms of articulation and the overall sculpt, paint, and detail on him. I think they just nailed the character. I think where it probably falls down is probably not the best is the head articulation. They really could have used a rotation here at the head. I kind of understand why they don't because they've got the light feature. You've got the smoke or I guess vapor feature there. So that kind of prevents it from rotating. But either way, I mean, it's just a very cool figure. It could have stood to have, you know, that one art piece articulation, but I do recommend this. I think it's a really fun set. Now there's two other figures I'm not planning to get, the princess and the toad. I actually saw them in the store, didn't have a lot of articulation, and honestly, they just didn't look so great, so I didn't bother with those. Um, this is really enough for me. I'm hoping they make more in this line, other characters from the Mario Brothers movie that we can display with these. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, actually, thanks to T-Man for the recommendation on these two guys, which led me to buying this guy. Uh, but the smoke effect, very cool. By the way, it does come out cold, so I guess it is a vaporizer. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.